this drill is called 32 read and feed. All right, we'll go here to the setup real quickly. Six people in the drill. I'll point them out for you here. One, two, three, four, and two defensemen, five and six. Okay? What we're simulating is the slide and recovery guys are missing, and I'll show you why. All right? The first thing is <clears throat> a dodge situation comes here down the side. All right? The on ball guy or the recovery guy in the situation is with him. The slide guy frees, him up to, uh, frees himself up to slide off of one of these guys, and he's making this slide, all right? And as this guy recovers, there's this moment that we're working on, um, and this little window that I want to talk about that I think we can take advantage of as feeders and dodgers and offensive players, all right? And so, <clears throat> as this guy recovers and that guy slides, all right, they're in passing right here, so they're actually going to be out of the drill. And it's going to be a three on two as this guy feeds this, this attackman who comes up and gets it and throws it here. So it's going to be a three on two versus one, two, and three guys versus the two D guys inside. Okay? So, <clears throat> as this happens here, it's coming down the side, this guy catches it. The defensemen here have three, have, have three options, okay? Three scenarios, rather. They can guard the on-ball guy, who was his original guy, okay? Or they can guard these two guys on the inside. This midfielder right here is going to pop behind the ball, and this attackman here is going to die. So as this guy catches the ball, and he's got this in the feeding spot right here, he's going to have options based on what these defensemen do or the two defensemen on the inside do. So if this defenseman here guards the ball, all right, and this defenseman bumps over here to guard that pop, then he's going to have this backside dive guy to feed and go right there. Okay? The next scenario, all right, as this guy does the pop and this guy does the backside dive again, is this defenseman can come over and guard the ball, and this defenseman can see that backside dive and he's going to try to guard that, in which case that's going to leave that pop behind the ball. Again, we're trying to take advantage of this, of this poor slide and recovery or late slide and recovery, inefficient slide and recovery here um, where these guys are going to be open on the inside for the three on two. All right. And the last situation that I want to talk about that we're going to, you'll see on video all right, is where this defenseman here gets caught on the backside. He sees this backside dive and he ends up staying. This attackman takes advantage of it, comes to the near side pipe. And this other defenseman here comes over and now there's a, there's a real quick situation where this guy can turn and wrap the corner here. Okay. So some of the coaching points that I spoke about a little bit earlier. We're taking advantage of this slide and recovery window here that we talked about. So dodge, push, here's a slide and recovery window. What's going on on the inside? Second thing we'll talk about is this has to be a great pass, this guy. This guy can't fumble this ball right here. Can't be a dead bird to his feet because he's got to be able to catch, turn, look up, read the situation, either hit that pop or the backside guy or see that he's got space in front of him to be able to wrap the corner. Okay? <clears throat> Now, and lastly, these two guys on the inside, just like anything else, you got to have great spacing on the inside because if one guy, or they're sitting next to each other, then one guy can guard two, right? So these guys are really working on this proper spacing here. Now, on the inside, you can have a variation of different options. You can, you can dive to the ball, you can pop behind, etc. But what we're working on is this backside dive and this here. It really puts a lot of pressure and a lot of stress on these two defensemen to have to decide if I'm going to come over or if I need to guard the crease a little bit longer to be able to do that. All right, and again, the last piece is the variations that you can have out of this drill. Midi dodges. This attackman in, in our situation, now you're gonna see in the video, is this guy is gonna come near pipe and, and try to take advantage of the three on two. You can also, here, push to the backside, and now he can come to the backside, and now same kind of thing on the inside. You may have a pop, or you may have a backside dive. Either way, you're gonna have great spacing between these two guys to have, have that read versus the defense from the backside. Push right. Push right.